Hey guys, today we're going to have a real discussion about TCG player vendors. Some of them be act manipulate the market. And this is what happens with a card called Imp's Mischief. This card is not good in my opinion. It's barely playable. But hey, it's from a set, Planar Chaos, that was from a long time ago. And it hasn't been reprinted since that time. So it makes a very attractive buyout. Kind of like the reserve list except for modern. Now, what happens is this particular vendor, and yes, I will call out the vendor. I'll show you a screenshot, and you can probably figure out who is. Hint, hint, he has 60 of them at $12 a piece. Purchased this card at $0.50. Cents. Uh, the card was about $0.50, cents, and then it recently spiked, as you can see from the end of the chart. It went from $0.50 cents all the way up to $14, and then now it's back to five, about $5. But considering that you made 10 times your money, um, supposedly, Oh, this vendor is still trying to sell them for $12. So he makes what? 50 times 200, 24% of his money is what he's trying to make. Then it's actually very interesting behavior. Uh, this vendor is kind of famous for it. He's done it many, many times where he goes out and buys a bulk card. And he just buys, buys, buys. As you can see, he is the particular vendor with 60 of them. And he has them for $12 a piece. Luckily, his shipping is only a dollar and one cents, so you can save a tremendous amount of money from that. It's just kind of crazy to me that this behavior actually works, because it does work. He buys all the copies out, puts them at $12, so he actually has a lot more than 60 copies. Uh, puts them at $12 each, and then the market adjusts for $5, and hey, he's if he's able to sell it for $5 and he purchases for 50 cents, you can be sure that he's happy with that. Um, who want to be happy with a 10x return? Um, that's very uncommon for Magic cards. So it's kind of a pump and dump scenario. And maybe he sells a few copies for $12. He probably didn't... 60 copies, how much is that? $30? So he only has to sell free copies to make money, assuming shipping was $6 or to break even. Not a very difficult thing to do. I have seen a trend where a lot of vendors are doing this with older cards that are quote unquote modern playable and yeah it sucks because the card that is 50 cents is now five dollars and this is what happens with um a unregulated market uh, you have people who do this and it does work uh, more times than not because hey if that dude has it for 12 dollars maybe i can get rid of a copy for five yeah i'll post it for five dollars because it used to be bulk anyway it's a little I don't want to say disgusting, but it's definitely not great for the art community.